quick jaunt over the sea for me to Navan for the Navan Novices Maiden Chase. There's a two and a half mile Novices Maiden. Let's get a look at the list. There's a small field of five or six for this one. Two and a half miles in. One or two newcomers. Cabo Zarad for Darren Thompson at the top. The red hot favourite day today for Marty Lidham. Paco Sole, Stu Gray and Anguissette for Padre Hogan are all making their debut. And Phoenix Flames for Paul Rhodes. At the bottom is the second of the five to have already had some experience. So we'll get a bit of a see how they're going. Oh, where they're going racing. And we'll see how the new ones figure compared to the others. Day to day didn't start all that well. Nearly fell at the very first fence. And they settled down there on the inside of Cabo Zarat. He's got some pretty decent form that one. So you'd expect that one to be a lot shorter than it was at the off as they get to the second. And they're all safely over the second. And Cabo Zarat has settled down into the lead then there. From day to day in second, and then Anguissette in third, with Paco Soleil and Phoenix Flames. Virtually four in a line behind Cabo Zarad at this point, as they make their way towards the third of the 16 fences that they've got to take. And day to day's gone this time, so absolute disaster there for that one. And he just to jump just three fences, nearly fell at the first one, and did fall at the third, so not the greatest of starts to that one's career then as they get to the ditch and Cabo Zarat is the clear leader from Anguissette in second and then Paco Solé third and Phoenix Flames is back in fourth and just four left then as they get over the fifth oh, could have said earlier on they were all guaranteed prize money if they'd have stood up but day to day has gone and the fifth place prize money will now be left in the pot Cabo Zarat is the leader. By about five lengths to Anguissette second, Paco Solé third, and then Phoenix Flames in fourth. Headed off towards the next down. With Cabo Zarat clear in the lead. By about six. All over that nicely and racing to the next with Cabo Zarad clearing. They come past the big screen. That's the winning post. And swing out for a complete circuit of the Navan track. And Cabo Zarad leads over this ditch. Good jump there by Angua set in second. Phoenix Flames on the inside and regain second place on the flat. And Paco Sole is just tucked in behind him in fourth, but no more than six lengths or so off the lead. And over the night they go a bit slow there, Paco Sole. Cabo Zara just bowling along in front of me. Paul Rhodes Phoenix Flamers moved into second, and Angus set third, and Paco Sole now just starting to find it a little bit hot as they race into the last mile. Cabo Zara. Darren Thompson over in the lead on oh, Phoenix Flames, Anguissette and then Paco Solo who's just getting closer again now as they run up that little hill and Camo's out and Jockey just pushing it along a little bit to keep it up to its work Phoenix Flames looks to be going well enough in second these are the two with the experience as they get over the 12th and he's gone there Paco Solo, so Paco Solo Deposits the jockey on the turf, and uh, that's two of the newcomers out. And Anguissette in third looks to be under pressure, so it looks like it's going to be the two that have got experience are going to fight out the finish. And it's Cabo Zarat who looks to be going best of all in the lead. Jockey just shaking the reins at him again as he pulls four lengths clear and comes into the third last, gets over it nicely, but a better jump by Phoenix Flames in second. Anguissette five lengths back in third. They've still got two to get over. Cabo Zarad's not put a foot wrong yet. Let's see how that one jumps it really nicely. Gets away from it well as well. Phoenix Flames is now being challenged by Anguiset for second. But Cabo Zarad is plenty clear enough if he pops this last. Should be okay. But there's a good two furlongs still to go on a running note. And Cabo Zarad. Phoenix Flames is getting closer. And they come down towards this final fence. Cabo Zarad pops over it nicely, gets away from it well. Phoenix Flames is trying to close, but 
I don't think he's going to get anywhere near. Still not best part of a quarter of a furlong to go, but Cabo Zarrat is clear. A pretty easy win for Darren Thompson and Cabo Zarrat. Phoenix Flame second and was set third. So there you go. Then the result of that one is a win for Cabo Zarrat and Darren Thompson with Phoenix Flame second for Paul Robes and Anguissette for Padraig Hogan back in third. They were the only three to finish.